and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Let's talk about concat. This is a very simple um, array method, that's, that's a thing, uh, that allows us to join two or more arrays together. Uh, so what is the situation in which we might do this? Um, well, let's say that we have two arrays of student names. Let's say we used to have two classes, but for some reason the classes need to join together. And so in our data somewhere we decide, oh, well, we have to now make these into one class, right? So let's say we've got um, let class one equal, got an array, Anna, Bob, and James. And then we've got class two, and they are Alex, Sally, and Patricia. Right? I don't know why I always come up with such old fashioned names. <laughs> anyway, these now need to be a new class. So we say, oh, let new class equal, and then we could do class one dot concat class two, right? Simple enough. Now, presumably we could do these in either order and whichever one we put first here will be the first one to display. So this will return Anna, Bob, James, Alex, Sally, Patricia, right? In an array. Um, if we did it the other way around, class two dot concat, then we'd get Alex, Sally, Patricia, Anna, Bob, James, right? So that's the difference about which one you put first and which one you put second. But as long as you want them all in one array, it really doesn't matter which order you do this. Um, the cool thing is that you can do this kind of indefinitely. So you could also have class three that decides to join, but it's only got two students. It's got Fred, I'm so bad at Gertrude. I, I, I can't help it guys. I always think of old fashioned names. It is impossible for me to think of modern day names other than my own. There you go. Okay, and then what we can do is we can add them in here just with a comma, yeah? So this concat method actually has an unlimited number of parameters, right? We can just keep adding. We could, we could do this essentially for infinity if we wanted to just concatenate a whole bunch of arrays together, um, then we could do it, right? So right now, uh, this looks like I should really do this properly, shouldn't I? Anna, Bob. and Gertrude. Okay. And that's concat. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.